St. Lucia is hosting the 26th Red Lock Congress with over 200 attendees from 20 countries. Buenos dias, Sacafet. It's the first time a Red Lock Congress is being held in the English-speaking Caribbean. Welcoming the delegates during the opening ceremony was Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ernest Hiller, who set the tone for the discussions to take place over the next three days. The discussions and strategies developed here will not only guide our efforts to protect biodiversity and promote sustainable development, but also help us to pool funding and resources to ensure long-term environmental resilience. Caroline Trubetskoy, the chair of the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund and the St. Lucia National Conservation Fund, welcomed the exchange of ideas between the environment funds serving the Caribbean and Latin America. Generally for us here in, in the Caribbean, the trust funds in the Caribbean are fairly young, but the Latin American trust funds have been in uh, existence much longer. So this is why this relationship is such an important one. The value that you get from the, the interactions of, of all the network of environmental funds is priceless, both in terms of Latin America that's doing things a little differently, and the Caribbean countries that, are, that we are helping and that we are working with um, to create the network and the partnership of what's possible. This year's presenting partner, the Sandals Foundation, noted that the theme 30 by 30 by 30, the path to 2030, called for a united approach to fully realize its objectives and targets. Together, we can foster collaboration and concrete actions in favor of biodiversity and sustainable development in Latin America and the Caribbean. Together, we can drive conservation initiatives locally, regionally, and internationally. The president of the Red Lock Congress, Jorge Oviedo, welcomed the opportunity to host the 26th Congress in the Eastern Caribbean, noting its intention to address the unique threats facing small island developing states that are economically dependent on tourism. So it is not a coincidence that we are here because we are very uh, acknowledgeable of the challenges that this region faces and so we want to strengthen uh, their fight against climate change. This historic 2024 Red Lock Congress is presented by the Sandals Foundation and organized by the St. Lucia National Conservation Fund with support from the Caribbean Biodiversity Fund and the Environmental Investment Fund of El Salvador, which hosts the Red Lock Secretariat. Good morning, everyone.